What's going on guys, College Lefty Gaming, and today I have for you guys a Ranked Seasons gameplay. This is my game for World Series, I'm at 890 rating. I hope you guys enjoy. For this current season, for this month, I'm my record is 8-0, and, and I'm hitting around 270 average. I'll quickly show you the Dave Parker uh, reward card if I am able to get these next 10 points, 10 to 15 points for this next game. The opponent has Don Sutton on the mound, who I struggle against a little bit. He's got the Tony Gwynn, Jose Bautista, Ken Griffey Jr., Albert Pujols, Duke Snyder, Mike Piazza. I'm not sure who was after Piazza, and then his creative player was a silver. We have Immortal Bob Gibson on the mound. He's got a pretty decent record, 84 and 48. And he actually, oh, Glaber Torres was the was the guy after his creative player. But here he sends a friendly quit. I declined it right away. I showed the, I got the first out of the game and Tony Gwynn, and, and he had Jose Bautista batting second here throw a fastball inside and he rips it down the third baseline off to a good start but Babe Ruth is able to keep him from getting to second base there and I haven't had any problem with Babe Ruth out there in left field so far here immortal Ken Griffey Jr. hits a fastball to left field low and away and Babe Ruth is able to make the play and that's a huge out from get, for getting Ken, immortal Ken Griffey Jr. out there the second out of the inning bringing up Albert Pujols his second immortal in the lineup and I got a first pitch of the at-bat. I'm going with the sinker inside. He rips it down the third baseline. I am able to get to this ball as well with Babe Ruth. Him being left-handed there, get a pretty good animation. He didn't run into the wall as some other players would have. So he's a, he's been a pretty good fielder out there for me. An 0-2 count. Duke Snyder throw a fastball inside. A mistaken location. And got it just, just early or just late on the meter there. And it just wasn't a good pitch. He was able to hit it. It was a, it was still a decent pitch in spot, but it wasn't it wasn't a, a very uh, executed a very well executed fastball there in the inside corner with the with the pitching feedback. So he was easily able to hit it out. Take the he takes the three nothing lead and the very next batter I'm able to get to ground out to second base. It's just unfortunate maybe if I would have walked Duke Snyder there, but at the same time I can't load the bases up in the first inning. But here we have our immortal Griffey. Coming up to the plate, a screwball low and away, and that's why I struggle against Don Sutton, but he does throw it away there with Jose Bautista playing third base. And I, I need to capitalize in this situation. If I need to if I'm gonna be able to win this game, I'm, I'm gonna have to come back and chip away when this type of when these type of things happen. When you give up an early three run homer in that situation. And that was a great slider. I just took it. This is the first game that I was playing. And I just I felt like I was just a little bit off early on in this one. Like I and I gave up that early deficit so that didn't definitely is not going to help here we have a, our creative player who has stats like an immortal card and I'm swinging at a bad pitch low and away didn't square it up with the PCI there and the bat was just a just a hair off of it didn't even have a hit in that inning but I had an opportunity that I wasn't able to get going so here in the second inning I'm swinging at another pitch I'm just a little bit over aggressive I mean sometimes that happens when you when I'm playing a game for World Series like this get a little little bit uh, impatient you know but I'm able to settle down here with the mortal Bob Gibson a little bit get get a strike out there on a curveball in the dirt against Jose Bautista but here with Chipper Jones in the bottom of the third inning with two outs hits gets one back there with a no doubt home run he throws a sinker up in the zone he probably missed the spot a little bit there Chipper Jones hits it into right field and I'm gonna need to hit have a couple more of those if I want to stay in this game there another bad another bad pitch to swing at just my timing was just a little bit off low and away pitch it, I mean it was hittable but I was I was early on it and you have to you have to, I needed to wait back a little bit more even with Immortal Babe Ruth up there here I'm able to start something off in this inning with with Albert Pujols I kind of just advanced it through because Bob Gibson did did start to pitch well and this uh this game was I was I was just hoping to uh, to chip away and tie it up here the creative player I was I power swung on that one. Rip it to right field and just right to him. Just nothing, nothing is going my way there. He still had that. It's right now. It's a couple swings of the bat from him and a couple bad swings from me. I feel like I'm kind of beating myself a little bit, and I, I'm, and he took advantage of the mistakes that I made so far in this one. So, and I got a good pitch to hit right there. Just hit it off the handle of the bat right to his center fielder. The PCI might have been on it, but the PCI does not represent the bat. It's just you saw it right there. The PCI was kind of on it with with it's tough to tell the feedback because I had two outs but in that situation you could visibly see that it was off the handle so even with Piazza I needed to be a little bit earlier on that hit 
Might have been able to get a home run there, but here he's got his created player up in a 0-2 count. And I was able to, uh, I think I should go through this whole inning right here. Because I do get the strikeout in this first one. This is kind of the bottom of his order. I'm trying to, in, in the fifth inning here, at this point in the game, I'm trying to get as many innings of, of scoring this ball from, from this immortal pitcher as I could. I, I, his confidence was lower to, at the beginning of the game because I gave up that three-run shot. Now his confidence is almost maxed out. He's becoming tougher to hit. It's just a, it's a shame that I wasn't able to lock down that first inning. That's the that's the biggest thing about playing in a World Series game as well. So or any game, even if you're going from DS to Championship Series, if it's a if it's a big game, you have to lock down your pitching early in the game. And and as you can see there, get another strikeout, bringing up his pitcher, which which you can almost bet that it's going to be an out in some way, which will just maximize his confidence even more. Hopefully, as long as he. Uh, he doesn't take any balls that I throw or I'm, I miss any location. So get him get him uh, ahead 0-2 here. I I did throw this slider just a hair outside the zone, but I did miss over the plate with a good pitch. If I throw that to anybody else but his pitcher, it's probably hit for a base hit, depending on if he was looking for something like that. So here with Cal Ripken Jr., I mean, I show this as a perfect as another perfect example of, of a good, of a well-squared-up ball. But if you look at the feedback of the bat, it just wasn't pulled. If I was able to pull this pitch, it was good, good. It was just a hair there. You can see it at the, at the bottom left of the screen. But it was good, good, and I, I hit it right to center field. The difference is if I'm a little bit earlier on that, that's probably a ball in the gap or possibly a home run. But here with two outs, get an, uh, a walk with Griffey. Go ahead and steal second base. Try to make another opportunity to, to get another run here with a base hit with two outs in the inning. And he, that's exactly what I'm able to do. He throws a sinker or a fastball just away. I think it was a sinker. Had a little bit of movement on it. And it, tough, it was a close play at the plate there, but I'm able to get the, cut the lead in half there. Get it to a 3-2 ball game with Babe Ruth coming up to the plate. And in this situation, I thought I got him, man. I thought I was able to get a perfect hit and run ball, hit that ball down the line. I was just a little bit early. Didn't have the PCI quite on it, but the bat was, bat was a little bit better. There, I just swung at a bad pitch. I just... I don't know what I was thinking. That's just a perfect example of, of me getting over aggressive. I swung at two bad pitches there with Babe Ruth. I actually tried to hold up on the second one, but I pressed X and and he he, he swung fully. I just had bad, terrible timing in this game at, until this point. Even though it was a close game, I felt like if I was if I was able to have some better at bats, then this is a different ball game. As even though he did hit that home run, I just wasn't able to take advantage of the opportunities. And the one opportunity that he had, he was able to take advantage of. So, so when you you gotta give you gotta tip your hat to your opponent sometimes in this game. Here I make a good pitch with the curveball inside to Griffey. He he rolls it over to first base. So I was able to to bounce back. I just wasn't able to chip away in this in the right situation there. I just missed that pitch. I I just missed it, man. I. I didn't think I moved the PCI that much down, but on the feedback, it showed that I was swinging low and inside. It just, right there, I wasn't I wasn't quite sure, but my bat was in a different spot. It just is, it is what it is. Sometimes you can't control those things, so you gotta just try to keep going, move on, next that bat. If you, the more often that you square up the ball, the more times you're gonna get rewarded. And that, and right there, it speaks for itself. He hangs a screwball, and, and I was able to actually square one up and tie up the game. So right now it's a 0-0 game. You gotta look at it as a three inning ball game at this point. Regardless of what has happened in the past, you look at it as a three inning game. And I still have my immortal pitcher on the mound with maxed out confidence. So I'm still I'm still in a good position in this one. I need to take advantage of the opportunities that come here in the next few innings as well as toss a scoreless game. But here in a one-two count, I throw a nice pitch, a, a nice slider low. Low and Albert Pujols hits it right to him. I mean, he was hitting the ball right to me too. I mean, he wasn't getting rewarded on all of his squared up balls. I'm sure he squared that one up pretty well. Here I missed another pitch, a slider up in the zone. He just misses it. He could have easily taken a one nothing, a one nothing lead. Is basically how I'm thinking of of this game because it is three to three. So he go he would, could have went up one there. I mean, here I make another good uh, actual good pitch for a slider, low and away, 89 miles an hour. I have. I have seen that slider get up to 92 with Bob Gibson, so that's a pretty good pitch. Here is the craziest, one of the craziest plays I've seen in MLB The Show. Hit a ground ball or a line drive right off the third base bag. It, it two hops for a ground rule double. I have no idea how that even happens. He brings in the silver Chris Sale relief pitcher. I, after I pinch hit for my pitcher, 
bringing in Duke Snyder. So he brings in the lefty. I bring in Johnny Bench, and he hits him first pitch. So here's another great opportunity for me for me to break this game open. I got Immortal Ken Griffey Jr. up, and I completely blow it. I I missed that. I missed a couple pitches earlier in the at bat, and that's just embarrassing. I mean. In that situation, you have to you have to capitalize. Here's another perfect example of me getting over aggressive. It's I mean, it, it just shows that that not every game I'm gonna play to the best of my ability. Sometimes I'm gonna go into a slump and swing at some bad pitches. I still have a, an opportunity here with Babe Ruth. I just missed that slider, but my PCI placement, my timing was just a little bit off. It uh, it's probably my own fault for not trying to warm up before this game, like go into a custom practice and play on legend or or go in and hit as the all-star teams and do do it on legend with the sliders all the way turned up it's it's something that I might have to have to think about doing when I go for these World Series games possibly but here Duke Snyder hits a shallow fly ball to left field and this is the first miscue I've had with Babe Ruth and he just took off running towards the infield I have no idea I tried to have him get the ball but Griffey bails him out keeps him from getting to third base so even with Babe Ruth out there making that crazy play I was able to keep him from getting to third and then later on in the same inning, though, create a player with a changeup. He pulls it just a hair early, and he got rewarded. So I wasn't able to take advantage of the opportunity. I could have, I could have easily had a couple runs there early in the game. It went into extras, and here I squared one up with Griffey. I thought I did anyway. It looked pretty good to me. I thought it was going out, and it just wasn't. It went right to the track, right to his Griffey. It is what it is, man. I mean, in this game, I felt like I, I had my chances, and it is what it is. Sometimes. Sometimes that's gonna happen, but here I miss another another good pitch. Just I'm just all, all game. I was just missing a few good pitches in the zone, and in a two-two count, I'm looking to to do some damage. I mean, I'm trying to get on base, try to get a bloop and a blast or something, get a good pitch up in the zone there with Chipper Jones. Hit it to hit it to the gap, and this game was on All Star. I mean, I looked up this guy's rating, and his rating was seven in the seven ninety somethings, and I mean, it's my own fault for not accepting the friendly quit, but at the same time, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get any games in if I, if I do accept the friendly quit. So I can't feel bad about that either. So here I'm able to get a base hit with Babe Ruth, so I cut the game in half. I, I pinch run Jackie Robinson, immortal Jackie Robinson for Babe Ruth to give myself a chance to tie up this game. And I mean, all, all this whole game, I was, I was right there. I had my opportunity. I was. I, ha I have the best chance right here to tie it up. I have uh, Albert Pujols up, up right here. And in this situation, I got a good lead. I took a step, and I wanted to go back with my lead off because I thought he was going to pick off, and I just blew it. I just messed up on the bases. Jackie Robinson goes back, and it was my own fault. I pressed R1 right right before he started stealing, and that that's, it is what it is, man. I, I blew my chance. Here I get a good pitch to hit. Maybe if, if Jackie Robinson's on base, I get a different result with that same hit. Who knows? Maybe that's a different pitch. You never know what it is. But here I'm able. I, I wasn't able to win this one and make it into World Series. But that doesn't matter. I'm gonna try to try to come back and win a couple more games in a row. See how many points we lose. Since the guy was in the the DS division, high DS division, then I expect to lose a, a more points than yep. And 27 points is our loss there. So first game of the of the season that I, w I did lose, and it is what it is, man. I wasn't able to get that dub, but I am going to try and bounce back and get another video out there for you guys in, in a little bit shortly after this one uploads. So stay tuned for that one, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and look for that next video here within the next hour or two. Peace out.